Hello, I'm Chris Cummings, CEO of Petra Technologies, and we provide rock solid IT every day. Today, I'm going to talk about the incident response rules and responsibilities. This is number 29 on the cybersecurity essentials list that I've been working my way through. Know the key stakeholders and critical roles within the organization who should be caring and be involved with a security incident. The responsible stakeholders and roles may change depending on the type of incident and targeted resource of the organization. Although your management team may be very small, it's highly valuable to discuss and understand who will be the authority of making tough and important decisions on behalf of your organization. Usually in a small business, this will be the owner. In a partnership, it may be the senior partner or the one who oversees technology decisions. The following are essential roles within the team. Incident response managers have at least two members of staff responsible for approving the incident response plan and coordinating the activity when an incident occurs. Security analysts, they review the alerts and identify possible incidents and perform an initial investigation to understand the scope of the attack. Threat researchers, they're responsible for providing contextual information around the threat using information from the web, threat intelligence feeds, data from security tools, etc. Other stakeholders, these can include senior management or board members, HR, PR, and senior security staff, such as the Chief Information Security Officer, CISO. Third parties, such as lawyers, outside outsourced security services, or law enforcement agencies. Again, based on your size of business, having all these rules covered by any one person in your office may not make sense. Hence, it would be a good idea to have these rules outsourced by a managed security service provider, or MSSP, i.e. a security professional, and to have this arrangement set up in advance. MSSPs operate in teams that are available 24 seven and will get the policies and procedures lined up as a part of their service before you have a security incident. Services at this level are not cheap and can represent a major investment. However, you must calculate out the cost of your business losses to help weigh out the pros and the cons. Until next time, to help combat the high costs of cybersecurity insurance, Incident response planning may help. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, and on the web at Petrotech IT. If you found this information useful, please share it. If you have any questions or comments, drop them into the comment section and I'll address them in a future video. Thanks.